welcome back to my channel. It has been a very long time since I have done a makeup video. <laughs> I was really bored during quarantine and really nothing was going on. So I decided that it would be fun if I kind of did a warm and just very simple makeup look. It's something you could do daily and it's just very like natural and it just adds a little sparkle to your look. So as you guys can tell, I am not in my New York apartment. Around four weeks ago when the coronavirus was first getting really big in New York, my parents wanted me to come back. So I actually packed up my stuff and I took Henry and I am now in Connecticut staying with my family. So when I was packing, for some reason, I thought to bring my makeup. I don't know why. So I just packed up a bunch of makeup in this bag. So I have like a couple of things I can play with and I'm hoping to do more of these in the upcoming future. So if you guys like these kind of videos and you want to see more of me, make sure to like and subscribe and make sure to turn on the bell if you want to be notified whenever I upload a video. So now let's go straight to the makeup look. Just so you know, Henry is here with me. He's scared of the brushes, but Henry, say hi. So I'm gonna first start with primer. The primer that I'm gonna use today is the Unseen Sunscreen Broad Spectrum from Supergroup. I have been using this primer for a couple months now. Um, I honestly just started to get it because I felt like I needed to add um, sunscreen um, in an easier way into my daily routine and I've been really liking it. For a foundation these days, I've been using the Studio Fix Powder Plus Foundation from MAC in NC15. I've been really enjoying this foundation because it gives a pretty good coverage for it being a powder and it's really easy to apply and to use daily so I've been loving this for when I go to work. I'm now gonna go into my brow routine. I have a really unnecessary brow routine, so just do whatever works for you. I'm still trying to figure out how to do my brows. There are definitely times where I see pictures of myself or videos and I'm like, why did you do that? <laughs> um, so I'm still learning despite it being such a long time. It was never my forte, so please be understanding of that. For me specifically, I start by lining my eyes with the Precisely My Brow Pencil from Benefit and I use the color 4.5. I then fill it with the Shape and Shade Brow Tint from MAC and I use the color Taupe. I usually use the powder side to fill in my brows and then I use the brush side to make little hairs in the front to make my brows look more natural. To set my brows, my favorite brow gel is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Gel. It literally is like hairspray for your brows. And let me tell you, my brows are so stubborn, so to have something that's very strong hold makes me very, very happy. We're going really simple for eyes today, so I'm going to use the Innisfree Eye Contouring Stick. This is in the color number 2 Taiko Milk Chocolate, so essentially sweet milk chocolate. I'm going to take the eye contour stick and apply it all over the lid and just blend it with my finger. Next, I'm going with the Equal Soul Pigment Shadow. This is in the color 2 Gold Bay. It is a nice peachy, golden, shimmery color and I'm going to just apply that in the center and then kind of spread it out with my finger. For eyeliner, I'm going to use an eyeshadow just because I want it to be very, very natural. And so I'm going to go with the Etude House Personal Color Palette. This is the Warm Tone Eyes. 
And I'm gonna go in with W10, which is brown candy. It is this dark brown with a little bit of shimmer. It's okay if it looks very, very minimal because I'm going to be using lashes and it'll cover most of the eyeliner anyways. So I just wanted some sort of dimension. And so now I'm gonna go and do my mascara prep. I always do this before I put lashes on just because I have really stubborn eyelashes. So I first go with the Etude House Doctor Mascara Fixer. I use the Volume Up and the Long Lash. I like to start with the Volume Up and apply it on my upper and lower lashes. And then I like to go with the Long Lash and I just apply it on my lower lashes since I don't apply falsies on my lower lashes. I like to curl my lashes after because with this lash prep, it really helps coat my lashes and when I curl it, it really starts to curl and stay. The Etude House Lash Perm Curl Fix Mascara in Black is my ultimate favorite mascara and I use this to just make sure that my curl stays the whole entire day and it stays up with my false lashes. For lashes, I'm going to go very natural and so I'm going to be using these. I got these from Aritaum. I don't know the name but I'll definitely list it. I'm now going to go with my bottom lash mascara. I use the Ink Color Cara Volume Setting from Peripera. This is a brown color so I just feel like it makes it look a lot more natural. I felt like my bottom lids looked a little bit bare so I'm going to go back with that Equal Soul Pigment Shadow and I'm going to apply it in the inner portion of my lower eyes. We're now going to move on with the rest of our face. So I always travel with my Marc Jacobs Instamark contour powder. This is in number 40 Mirage Filter. I'm gonna take that brown color and just start to contour my cheeks and the rest of my whole entire face. I'm also going to contour my nose with this color. I'm gonna take a fluffy brush and go in with the yellow shade and I'm going to just blend all the contour that I did. For blush, I'm going to use this cream color from Glossier. This is the Cloud Paint Seamless Cheek Color in Dusk. For highlight, I'm going to go in with the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Opal. Finally, for lips, I'm going to use the Marc Jacobs Kiss Pop. This is in 602 Heartbreaker. I'm also going to use the Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm in Fenty Glow. And this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this super natural daily makeup look. Um, it's really nice to just like put on something, especially during quarantine, just to feel like you're doing something and being productive. Um, I definitely want to put makeup on more often now, just because I feel like really pretty. And I just, you know, when you feel lethargic, it just feels nice to put something on. So I hope you guys also enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!